All right, so from the video of what you've seen of Mr. Organic, do you think he's racist? I I wouldn't say I wouldn't say he's racist because I feel like racism is in the heart. Mm -hmm. I don't. It you could tell it didn't sound like it came from the heart when he was saying that. It sounded more like a kid that's not getting their way and saying whatever they want to say to hurt the other person or to discredit the other person or to make the other person look stupid. Mm -hmm. It didn't. It 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 did. It wasn't rooted in hate. Like mm -hmm. racism has to have hate attached to it. No, yeah. he's not racist. He says racist things. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. What people don't understand. You can make racist remarks and not be a racist at heart. No, yeah. there's plenty of people that say things that they don't really mean. He wouldn't say that to another white person. No, he's only saying it to him because he doesn't know what he. What to say to make this person go away? <laughs> <laughs> We're watching Spencer Cornelius. <laughs> you said he doesn't know what to say to make this person go away. <laughs> he wants that boy to go. <laughs> he's trying to get the comments like, you know, he's oh, trying to get shit. them people to be like, we don't like Spencer. <laughs> Spencer, what's his name? Cornelia? Yeah. He like, you don't want you don't want nobody to like this man. Oh, he shit. gonna say whatever it takes <laughs> to get this man canceled. That's all it is. He not racist. <laughs> he say racist he was saying racist shit. And he didn't give a fuck about what he was saying because he just he want that boy out of his business. He want him he wanna be able to scam in peace. <laughs> scam in peace. Yo, that probably is what it is with all these niggas. Like, man, yeah. hey, you motherfuckers better start shutting the fuck up on the internet. We is out here doing fine till you motherfuckers start coming around trying to voice opinions. Well, what you Shit. see, I mean, all of us on social media have to watch what we say, what we do. Yeah. That it won't be misconstrued. Yeah. That people won't be offended. That people won't. I mean, come on now. You should know better. You yeah, know what it. the fuck you doing. You know it's a scam. Nigga, oh, you know it was a scam when you wrote it down on a piece of paper. You know it was my, you know what you was doing. So oh, I mean, shit. just own the shit. Just say, look, if y'all want to do it, I'm not holding guns to your head. But I guarantee, you, month ain't not one person gonna sign up. The only person that's gonna sign up is somebody just dumb. Yeah, you gotta be stupid. stupid. Yeah, shit. Motherfucker, you if you don't know something, you better go look up some laws. Shit. That's what I had to start doing. Shit. These niggas are saying some shit that sound too good. Typing in what they said and putting fraud next to it. PDF gov. We're gonna see what the government talking about. Laws is shit. Keep fucking around. I'm gonna start consulting attorneys. To yeah, for on, real. To talk on these motherfuckers. Okay. We already know we all know it's illegal. What you're doing mm -hmm. that, and if, even if it's not illegal, it's surely immoral and unethical, and crossing a very, very fine legal boundary, mm -hmm. if not more than that. Mm -hmm. But what we don't know are the specific laws and legal codes mm -hmm. that are associated with the activities mm -hmm. that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, it's definitely some details and. Intrinsic things that we do not know they're doing behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. That they're not gonna just out outly tell people, you know. Let me show you how to scam. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they gonna say the little shit. You get, you you know, Batman cable. He came out. You get the trade lines. Mm -hmm. So this is how you get the trade lines. You either ask your grandma, <laughs> ask your grandma. <laughs> To get you on her, because I know your grandma got good credit. <laughs> Ask your grandma to get, get you on one of her credit cards. Or your mom. Or your uncle. Or your, you know, one oh, somebody shit. in your family that got good, long credit. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you don't got that, nigga, then you come over here to my, my jewelry, my jewelry box. Oh, the my jeweler shit. I Whatever remember that shit. that shit was, my jewelry shop. They Whatever. shut that shit down. And then... You apply for some jewelry with them niggas, and like, and you looking like nigga. I never said I wanted to buy no damn jewelry. Like nigga, that's not the point. <laughs> nigga, really? trying to get you this credit up. Nigga, 
nigga, shut the fuck up. This this is why I never did that shit. It's because nigga, you think these credit bureaus are retarded? They definitely not. They you definitely think not. these niggas are not gonna find out? You trying to get people to put 20, 30 cre- trade trade lines on some random ass people on their motherfucking credit. You think the credit bureaus ain't gonna be like, how the fuck does this person know Joe in Alaska? Like, you sound uh, dumb. Oh, you think, do you you don't think the credit bureaus know it, it now it wouldn't be suspicious if you put one on there and y'all got the same last name, they're gonna assume y'all relatives, okay. But it's not you y'all think that adding somebody's credit history, their good credit history to your credit is gonna help you and it could potentially help you. If it's legit, but if you start putting two and three and four and five on that motherfucker, them them motherfucking credit bills gonna figure it the fuck out. They not stupid. Mm-hmm. They gonna be like, hold on, you got Joe, Jeff, <laughs> <laughs> Justin, Beaver. I mean, I don't. They not finna let y'all do that shit. Your shit is gonna go up to seven. Seven ninety five and come back down to five ninety seven because they not playing around. Like I don't get why y'all think y'all can do this get rich, get rich quick schemes and this shit never works out. Mm-hmm. That's why everybody that did that shit is either broke now or in jail. Mm-hmm. It never fucking works. Every time I be thinking, dang, how can I make some money? How can I make some money? How can I make some money quick? Nothing. I can't. <laughs> I've been trying to figure that shit out work. since I turned Man, in. me too. I still be looking like there gotta be a way. It's gonna gotta go be. It's no, fucking patient the people time. that are making money now legitimately, the ones that, that are making a lot of money legitimately and it didn't take them a long time. Ground it's, up. It's, you know what it is? Luck. Luck. That's what it is. Every... Every business person, every person that makes it big in life needs a little bit of luck. You can't do anything for it. Can't you you can't clean floors for it? Yeah. You can't suck no dick for it. Damn. You can't you can't kiss no ass for it. It's that it's pure luck. It's literally just something just hitting you, you being at the right place at the right time. You got a friend that, that got a daddy that uh, own buildings or some shit and want to put you on. I mean, it's luck. A lot of it. Not all of it. A lot of it. Y'all talk so much about hard work. Hard work. We all fucking work hard, nigga. If if we got paid. For hard work. If we got paid for working hard. I mean... Literally, if you did 10 times the amount of work of someone else and got paid 10 times the salary, nigga, we all be on. Mm-hmm. Okay? Really People true. that's doing 10% of the work at, at work will be getting paid $10. People that's doing 100% will be getting paid $100 an hour. That's how the world will work. If it worked like that, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. So if y'all talk so much about working hard, that shit don't mean nothing. It's about being smart. And it's not just about being smart. You <clears throat> sometimes with these businesses, what I've noticed is that you you guys talk about, oh, you need to be smart with your money. Oh, you need to do this, oh, you need to do that. Some the information is not where you need the information to be. Meaning that you're over here, let's say you're trying to start a tech company. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you need to learn uh, the market. You need to learn things. When you start something that you have never done before and have no experience in and have no knowledge in, you need to come across some knowledge that's going to help you. And you may go out there looking for it. You may go searching on the internet. You may uh, read a lot of books, articles, uh, journals, whatever. You may take some courses and you will still be and you may still be lacking because it is a certain piece of information that you do not have mm-hmm. that you don't know you fucking need yet. You don't know. 
But then one day somebody tells you, let me help you. I know how to do this. And mm-hmm. they're legitimate. Mm-hmm. And then what is that again? Luck. luck. It's luck. So it's that's what I call it. Y'all talk about working hard. Yeah, part of it is working mm-hmm. hard. Part of it is your work ethic. Part of it is uh, how hard you work at it. But there is no guarantee you're going to stumble upon the information you need to be rich, to be wealthy. You may be well, you may be satisfied, you may be stable Mm -hmm. if you work hard, but there is no guarantee that you're going to stumble upon the information that you need to rise to that next level. It comes from people networking. It comes from people um, telling just not gatekeeping and just flat out telling you, I can help you. Oh, you're in this? Let me give you some information. Mm-hmm. And it's, and you, you talk about it's out there for everybody, but everybody's giving this information, that information, that information. It's that one, one lane of information that everybody needs in whatever industry they're in that's going to get them to that next level. Mm-hmm. And it don't come from just reading books and reading articles and watching videos. You may stumble upon and watching videos, but there's no guarantee. So the fact that people say work hard, look for information, you could be looking for a long fucking time. You could be looking for 25 years, but some, but somehow God bless that person to, to stumble upon that information in a month, in two months, mm-hmm. in 12 months. That's what I'm, that's, that's what I, that's what I've learned from starting a business. Even before that, I kept thinking, yo, everybody talks so much about working hard. It's, it's not about just working hard. It's about stumbling upon the right key information to get you to the next level. That's what it's about. It's literally stumbling. It's literally just someone in passing and you just start talking, hey, I, I have that business. I teach you everything. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's luck. And you might say, oh, I still got to do the work. Yeah, but who gave you the information? How did you come across it? How? Did you say, Google, give me the information? <laughs> no. You could have read thousands, thousands of books, courses, mm-hmm. and still haven't gotten it. You may have got more information that you're a little bit more knowledgeable, but you still don't got it. Yeah. You still so that's what I say to people. It's about luck. Yeah. Period. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we give up. Because you could be searching all that time, putting in this work, and nothing's happening because your luck ain't came in yet. So then you switch to something else, another industry, another field, and you do it again. And all of a sudden you the luck happens. You stumble upon it. Every business owner. Every single business owner in the world that's successful right now has stumbled upon some information. It may have been an idea that you stumbled upon, but the people Mm -hmm. that are associated with that idea that made that come into fruition, whether it was you hiring an engineer, whether it was you hiring a a computer programmer, or Mm -hmm. you hiring an attorney, or some type of business consultant, whatever it is, that everybody holds a certain amount of key information, but it's that it's gonna be that one person or a combination of people that are going to give you, possibly if you're lucky, they're going to give you the information for you to get to the next level. And what do we call that? A blessing, not hard work. Do you work for blessings? Or are they just given? You asking me a question? No, I'm just saying. Mm. Do, does God say, you do your homework all year long. I'm going to get you that new car. <laughs> no. We can say faith without work is dead. But at the end of the day, it's plenty of people that work hard, that want it better that looked in better, that that did all they could to do better, and they just still stuck. Mm-hmm. And it's not for lack of trying. It's not. It's just that it's not enough 
it is not enough there's not enough resources or blessings in the world that could make all of us famous and rich and wealthy. There needs to, regardless of what everybody wants to believe, mm -hmm. the fact that we have middle class, low class, and high and upper class, there needs to be structure. There has to be a balance. Otherwise, it, life wouldn't be worth living. That's what I've taken. That's why I don't want to be filthy rich. I could settle for being stable or being overly stable, I should say. I could I could I could settle for that because if if that's my calling. But mm -hmm. if I have a calling to do more, I'll damn sure do more. But I'm just saying there has to be a balance. Y'all talk so much about the wealth and generational wealth. You you know how how y'all don't understand the economics, do y'all? Do you think that the world could survive if everybody was rich? Do you think that we would have people mechanics to fix the cars and um people to you know at the gas station to tend to us and the pumps and all this stuff do you think that there would be hope people working at hotels and massage therapists doctors even do you think we would have that why would doc why would people uh, what what would be the incentive to work if everybody was just given if everybody had businesses that were who would be the consumers? You I, you can't do B to B B to B across the whole board. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if everybody has all these competitive brands, none of them would su survive. This person would be making five thousand a month, and this person would be making fifty thousand. Yeah, and, that, and uh, to go back to the scam and shit, that's where a lot of these gurus get things at because it's like you're not gonna. You offering this get rich to all these fucking people. But they keep it limited because they'll never let them be on their level. Because then it makes competition and see, for them. And see, that's the problem. That's the problem that I... that Now, I won't say that we don't need to have more entrepreneurs and more business owners and more this and that. But when y'all y'all think that there's plenty of people, there will always be... But if y'all continue to try to force people to say they need to start a business, there's plenty of people that don't want to own a business. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That doesn't mean they're stupid. That means they have no passion for it. That means they want to do other things with their life. And that's that's their choice. Mm -hmm. And we need people. We need some people not to want the, a fucking business. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, what would we do if we were just full of business? That nobody would fucking work the small little jobs we need them to work. Mm -hmm. What I mean, look at Wendy's already got a fucking robot answering their fucking uh for the orders doing doing the orders. I mean, y'all y'all talk about y'all scared of of these robots taking over y'all jobs and stuff, taking over all these jobs and stuff. But that's what we're gonna be left with. Oh, we definitely going. We going in. We going in that direction. Definitely. So if robots are already taking over people's jobs, what y'all think will happen if everybody starts a business? Yeah, and I was thinking about that too because I was like, okay, uh, Mark Zuckerberg got the metaverse coming. So I was thinking of a thought. I said, okay, it's crazy how the world is starting to transition now. But I was like, is there gonna be a meta world for homeless people? Like. Imagine a homeless what person. Is, I still don't understand the whole meta world thing. What so is the benefit? I don't. I, it's, it's more it's of just, just entertaining. It's more of just a big ass video game that they're attaching in real life. It's entertaining. Basically, it's entertainment. Yeah. It has no cultural ec or economic value I'm whatsoever. Like a like a motherfucker. Excuse me. <laughs> I've been trying to it slip these farts no in for a minute. It has no value in the real world. Yeah. I mean, what's the point? I mean, I would assume, I, I can only assume that they have something bigger planned. Because if it's just that, just a virtual world, there's plenty of virtual worlds already. I mean, what? why? I mean, I guess, you know, it could really help with mental health as far as imagining things. Um, as far as, you know, creating ideas and trying to see how it would how would how you could actually visualize it? So I could see that that could help p 
people, you know, businesses, new entrepreneurs and stuff like that to put together. I would love to put, yeah, I'll put me in an office together, you know, for a business or whatever and, and put people in there and see how they work. And they That's the what they're doing. It's going to be all that type of but shit. But what, what is the, what is the, the I, I'm just trying to understand the financial benefit to them doing that. Like, they have to be, I mean, obviously they're making some money somehow, but how is this going to really, you know, are you going to charge something? Is this somehow, like, if you do something in a virtual world, it will actually happen something into your physical in life. life? So, yeah. like, imagine, like, how you work from home right now, it'll be the same thing, except you're putting on a headset going to a virtual, like, maybe, it could be you at a virtual fucking, um, a virtual work spot with your other employees. And it's Avatar. That's how he got his shit right now. So it's like that's it's gonna be shit like that. So that's a real scenario for work at home that I've had read on. So yeah. I'm telling you, I really think we should really. I'm telling you that app idea that I had. I had a few different app ideas, but that app idea that I had. I'm telling you, I really think that that shit would be dope. We get a TV. Well, hold on, hold on, because I don't want to steal any of this shit. <laughs> 